Hello and welcome NKTEL participants. I am Nandita and I am thrilled to have you all here today for this exciting learning session. So, what are we going to study from today? From today, we are going to study simple mathematics for KG students. I am going to teach you how you can introduce numbers to the small kids. In today's session, I am going to teach you how to introduce numbers 1 to 5. To introduce numbers 1 to 5, let us consider with number 1. To begin with, we will have to tell them the meaning of number 1. What is the meaning of number 1? For the swivel, take some small objects. As in, I have a pencil here, right? I am going to ask them, how many pencils do I have? Correct? It is just one. How many colors do I have? That's right. It is just one. So this is the meaning of number one. Then let us give them a simple activity. As in, I will be drawing three boxes here. Here with two stars, one star and three stars. Correct? Then you ask the kid to tick on the box which has only one star. Your kid should be able to tick on this box. Right? So that means the kid has understood the meaning of number one. After you have explained them the meaning, you have given them the activity, now comes the writing part. How are you going to introduce writing to them? By tracing method. What you can do is, you can draw the dotted lines. And ask the kid to draw on these lines. So, the kid should be able to join these dots trace and draw will help the kid to understand. It also stabilizes the muscle movement and also will be able to write to one with the meaning, activity and tracing. So here, this is the complete package wherein you will be introducing number one and the kid will definitely remember this concept throughout his life with this number one. Similar way we can proceed with number 2, 3, 4 and 5. For example, first is what is the meaning of number 2? What is the meaning of number 2? So, introduce them to two pencils now. Here there are two pencils, correct? Right? This is 1 and this is 2. So, this is 2 or ask them with the two colors. This is first color, this is the second color. This is one, this is two. So here there are two colors. So that means this is called as number two. This is the meaning of number two. Then more with the same activity. You can change the objects in the within here. I consider the same. Ask your kid to tick on the box which has two stars. So your kid by now should be able to guess. This is the right answer. As in here you have one star and two star. So this is number two. Then trace and write as I have already explained you with number one. Similarly move forward with number two. Yes. Then comes number three. For this, first introduce them with a meaning. Show them some objects. Here I have three pencils. I have three pencils. One, two and three. So here I have three pencils. One, two and three. Similarly, I have three colors. One, two and three. That is one, two and three. 
three colors. This is the meaning of number three. One with the activity as I already drawn here. Ask them to tick on the box which has three objects. Here they know this is two. They know this is one. Then definitely they will move on here. One, two and three. That means this is the right answer for number three. Then the last point is you will have to ask them to trace and write it. So let me show you how to trace number three. So trace and write number three. Next comes number four. So let us start with the meaning of number four. So here I have four pencils. One, two, three, four. Yes, so these are the four pencils. Similarly, let me show you four colors. I have one color, I have two color, I have three color, I have four color. So I have total of four colors. Now let us move on with the activity. So now allow your kid to identify the box which has four objects. So your kid already knows this is one and two. He will move forward here. This is one, two, three and what comes after three? Four. Correct? So this is the right answer. Then the last part is we will have to teach them how to trace and write. This is number four. Now let us move forward with number five. First, let us make them understand what is number five. Take some objects. So I have five pencils here. This is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. And this is five. So I have five pencils with me, five pencils. Similarly, I have five colors with me. I have one color, I have two color, I have three colors, I have four colors, I have five colors. So here I have total of five colors. So this is the meaning of number five, how you are going to introduce them. Then let us move forward with the activity, similar activity. Now, ask your kid to count and identify in which box there are five stars. So, they start with number one. One, two, three, four, five. Right. This box consists of five stars. And then, at the last, you have to allow them to trace and try. So, let us write number five. And then trace and write the number 5. So this way you can introduce them with numbers 1 to 5. One number at a time. Okay, my kid knows number 1. So let me introduce number 2 today. No. Do one thing. Give them ample of questions this way. Activity based, object based. And make them thorough with that particular number. And then move forward with the next number. Maybe on the next day. Yes. You get uh, a lot of books in the bookstores wherein uh, uh, tracing and writing of those numbers are available. So you can introduce those to them so that uh, you know they learn and write. 
So when these two concepts go hand in hand, it remains with them forever. So yes, that's all for today's session. I hope you liked my class. Stay tuned for more updates. Thank you and bye-bye.